Hey there folks, the Scottsdale Travel Check, here to give you my review of the Conrad Hotel in Tulum, Mexico. In this video, I'll tell you everything you'll want to know about the Conrad, and how to get the most out of your stay. Okay, let's start with the location and how to get there. Where is Tulum anyway? Well, it's about 90 minutes south of Cancun Airport and it overlooks the white sand beach of the Riviera Maya. However, the Conrad is actually located about 15 minutes and 10 miles north of Tulum itself. It's on its own private cove, and it's right next door to the Hilton all-inclusive hotel and the same resort development. Also in the development is a large conference center as well as a standalone dedicated spa. And I'll talk about that later. The entrance is right off Route 370 Main Road, and there's really nothing else around, certainly not within walking distance. You enter through a large guard gate. They check your ID, license plate, etc. If you happen to have a car or just want to get out for some really local food and village experience, the nearest town is only about two miles away and it's called Shamuel. Oh, I hope I said that right. There are three or four decent local places there if you want to get out and grab a bite to eat or a cheap beer. Getting to the hotel, there are primarily three ways to get to the hotel. One is to rent your own car. The cost tends to look cheaper, but please be aware third-party insurance is mandatory in Mexico. So add 25 to $40 per day to whatever rate you are shown. Anyway, this is probably the best option if you intend to get out and explore by yourself or just want that flexibility on when you wanna come and go. There is no parking via the Conrad, and valet parking is free. Just remember to tip those guys. The second option is to rent a shared van. You can find many options on Booking.com or Viator. And finally, the most expensive option, but perhaps the nicest and most convenient, is a private pickup from the Conrad. The cost is $170, and you can book in advance through the hotel's concierge. With all of that out of the way, let's get to talking about the hotel itself. Let me start out by saying this is the second Conrad Hotel we have stayed at. They are just incredible, and I am so very excited to share this one with you as well. Conrad Hotels are Hilton's most exclusive brand. They're similar to a Ritz-Carlton or Four Seasons, and this one does not disappoint. It is a brand new hotel, just opening in early 2022. The drive up to the hotel is nothing spectacular, but once you enter the lobby, be prepared to be impressed. You'll enter through these huge doors and look out over an expansive water area. Check-in desks are to your left and right, and there's a very unique hanging yarn art piece on the ceiling, which is also pretty cool. Fun fact here, it's made with over 7,000 pieces of yarn. And those doors that you walk through are all made from the trees from the Tulum area. As I mentioned before, we have done a separate review of the only other Conrad in Mexico which is in Punta Mita, near Puerto Vallarta. If you are interested in that property, please check out our top-rated review on it. 
but I have to say, this entry of this Conrad has the Punta Mita Resort beat. The entry and main building area is just spectacular. There are a total of five swimming pools and 11 bar and restaurant options, along with a very deluxe standalone spa. This hotel spreads to the left and right of the main building. There are 349 rooms and suites across seven other buildings. Every room faces the water, but it's important to note that many of the rooms are not ocean view, as the dense jungle landscape obscures the view for perhaps 70% of the rooms. Okay, now let's get to those rooms. All the rooms are beautiful and quite spacious, with the smallest room being 505 square feet. Here is a walkthrough of one of their standard rooms. I really like the fact that they have incorporated a couch in these rooms as well as a table to do some work on. And look at that view. And they have large patios and either two person soaking tubs or plunge pools on the ground floors. They have large showers and these vanities with these huge double sinks is such a plus. Here is an example of one of their suites. This one was a thousand square feet and it had its own living dining room area. And then a bedroom area, which is very close to the standard room type in terms of their size and layout. I really love the rooms and the mix of teak wood and black tile really makes it look like a dramatic effect. In terms of connectivity and Wi-Fi speed, here's the Wi-Fi speed test we did. I found the speed to be fine, even we tested it by the beach and got great reception. Now let's touch on all the dining and bar options at this resort. There are 11 to choose from. Yep, I said 11. Let me start out by saying we didn't try most of their food and beverage options, but what we did try was delicious. Outside of a couple pool bar options, all their food and beverage options are centered around the main building. The buffet breakfast restaurant is called Arbalea. We had breakfast here every morning, and the buffet spread was humongous. From made to order omelets, quesadillas, and yes, even some fresh coconut water. This is probably one of the biggest buffets we have ever been to. It was all good. They have a multitude of meat, fruit, cheese, and bread options. They even have avocado toast, made just the way you like it. Their specialty is actually custom-made French toast. Here is a video. Make sure you try this. It's super delicious. Thank <laughs> you.
And bonus, every morning they had a different musician. It was really nice treat. Here's just a couple of the music options. Hmm, is that Kenny G? I just loved listening to these guys in the morning. They were just so good. Now that we got breakfast out of the way, they have so many more unique restaurants. Here are several options. One is Ator, which has a Mexican dish with a little bit of a flair. Kingai is Japanese restaurant from dumplings to teppanyaki. Yukai is a sushi restaurant that has fresh caught seafood. Chiringuitos snack bar by the beach. They offer items like cerveche, sandwiches, burgers. Maritai, this is more Mediterranean food offering. Small to medium sized options with pairings of cocktails. And then of course, let's get to the bars. Chalk, this is a great bar just to relax in after the day in the sun. They have a large big screen TV as well. Then there's Ultramar. This is items like nachos, tacos, Philly cheesesteak. They also offer other menu items that are not on the menu, like pastas and hamburgers. And then bars three, four, and five are all served food from the Ultra Mar menu. And the last option is a coffee shop called Cafetel. This offers more items on the go, like pastries, gelato, and your coffee. Beyond all the food and beverage options on tap, the Conrad also has a number of unique amenities. First up are the multiple pools and the beautiful ocean. But before I get to those, just a quick break here to say, if you're enjoying this video, please give us a thumbs up. And we'd really appreciate a nice comment too. And if you're really feeling happy, please consider subscribing to our channel for more fun, informative videos just like this one. Okay, now back to those pools and the ocean. The Conrad's main pool is a long, spread out affair, mainly used for chilling, hanging out, and Instagram pictures. It's only about three feet deep at its deepest, and there are many chairs and loungers in and around the water to choose from. This area is big enough and there's always something open. Loungy music plays most of the day, but they also have some DJs that come in on the weekends so if you want a bit more thumping type music, be sure to visit on the weekend. If more peace and quiet is your thing, they have three other pool and bars spread out among the other buildings. And of course, they have a number of loungers and foam beds directly on the beach. Here is the best tip is to sit by this cove that's right here. They have lots of chairs out here. Grab a towel, sit here. You've got a good wind uh, blowing on you. It's nice and cool, actually. You can probably sit out here all day. It is in September, and it should be sweating terribly, but it's awesome out here. You can also rent kayaks and snorkel equipment. The kayaks are free for 30 minutes and snorkels can be rented for the day for $15. You can even hire a guide to take you on a quick tour of the small reef areas in the cove. I do have to note that there is actually spring water which enters into the cove and mixes with the ocean water. So as you may know, this makes the water a little blurry and not as clear as you might expect. 
somewhere amongst all of your lounging by the pool, you might want to consider some exercise. Well, they have bicycles, they have a good sized gym, as well as yoga. Finally, there is a dedicated standalone spa building for both the Conrad and Hilton nearby. First of all, you can either ride a bike or you can have them take you by golf carts. I wasn't able to get any treatments, but I did take a quick look around to give you the scoop. They have a total of 16 treatment rooms. If your vacation includes visiting the spa, make sure you book your appointment ahead of time. The appointments fill up pretty quickly. As you can see, this is all about relaxation. They have several different options from massages, to facials, to even nails, and a beauty salon. Okay, now it's time for the Scottsdale Travel Chick score. This is a beautiful resort with incredibly great service. You feel so pampered here. The staff is incredibly friendly and really all of them go out of their way to make your vacation incredible. I loved everything about this hotel. I give it a 10 out of 10 and cannot wait to come back again. Thank you again, Conrad, for an incredible vacation. Until next time, see you later.